met him when he came into my house for dinner. He said to me, hey man, mind if I play some tunes? Uh, I've been a diehard fan ever since. first people that got me into playing bluegrass music. This guy cooked up some delicious stuff. Uh, this is Frank Sullivan, everybody. Nobody took it for an airplane. Ain't got time for no fast train. I never can understand how he can get through a performance. He puts so much energy into it. One of the things about my friendship with Frank is that I feel like I get this really unique opportunity to have him cook his food in my kitchen and play his music in my living room. To be able to share that with so many of my work colleagues and friends and neighbors on the hill um, and bring it here to the Hill Center uh, was really a, a, a treat for me. You ought to see a The Dirty Kitchen experience it started on the house concert model. You know, going into somebody's home and, and cooking a big meal for like 20 to 50 people. And then following it with a really uh, intimate concert. Mike Mumford just played a little bit of Stairway to Heaven on the banjo, just for a couple of seconds, and then he went into a Bill Monroe tune called uh, Jerusalem Ridge, all inside of a solo on, a, on an original tune. So he's quoting other musicians, which is a well-known jazz technique. I think that Frank Sullivan and Dirty Kitchen are the hottest band of bluegrass right now. Um, and I told Frank that last night. <laughs> I think it embarrassed him, actually. <laughs> he's from Central Valley, California. Make welcome, please, Frank Sullivan. To have 250 people sitting out here listening to him, that was our first, our biggest outdoor event, so it made us very happy. Listening to them and the speed of it, the precision and the fury of it, really made me think of my musical roots, which is heavy metal and speed metal.